kind of likes me. What makes you say that? The way she smiled before she threw the pop in my face. Let's go to that new park. I haven't seen it yet. No way, man. Why not? The girl. What girl? The girl in the park. I'm sure there's lots of girls in the park, Leonard. Just one. No one else goes there. They built it where the old Robertson house was. Is that the one that burned down? Exactly. The story goes that just as the family got outside safely, their little girl yelled that she forgot something and ran back inside, never to be seen again. You're pretty dramatic, Leonard. Well, it's true. And no remains were ever found either. What does that have to do with the park? Every day at twilight, since it's been open, a mysterious girl has appeared by the swing set, walking in circles. No one knows who she is. For heaven's sake, Leonard, as anyone asked, let me guess. Do you think it's the Robertson girl back from the grave? You said it, not me. That's it. You and I are going to the park tonight just so I can show you how silly you are. It looks like any other street. But it isn't. I don't see her. Are you sure she comes here every night? Yep, she should be over there by the swings already. Hmm, how can a ghost be late? She's not a ghost, Leonard. She probably lives close by. Besides, if every creepy person on Garden Avenue was a ghost, there wouldn't be any real people. Well, I can't stay too much longer anyways or my mom will kill me. She wants me to try her new vegan, kosher, halal, fat, gluten, peanut-free tuna chip casserole. Your life is so interesting. Look, there she is. I told you. Whoa, looks like she's dressed for Halloween. Yeah, pretty gothy looking. She probably listens to Scream Core. I'm gonna go talk to her. You make puberty look so graceful. Where'd she go? She can't have gone so fast. This doesn't make any sense. Davis, she's a ghost, a phantom, an apparition. What do I have to say to you? I'm out of here. I can smell that simulated tune already. How does the tuna casserole? I don't want to talk about it. Hey, is that your dad's computer? Yup, it's a Mark II Nomad series. Tape storage, 0.93 seconds per cycle. Memory? Magnetic core, of course. Capacity? 16K. It's all a man needs. Hello? Okay. I'm on my way. Where are you going? I'm off to the Bessboro Twins' birthday party. How'd you get invited to that? They found it difficult to resist my masculine, yet sensitive charms. You paid them, didn't you? Nomad. Access data banks. Roncesvalles Village Historical Society. 2012 Robertson House Fire. Accessing. Identify victims, if any. Accessing. Katine Robertson, daughter of James and Puma. Born July 18, 2005. Deceased October 15, 2012. Cause of death, smoke inhalation. Caveat. Remains never found. Print the latest image of Katine Robertson. Hmm, I have that very same teddy bear.
Didn't we just do this yesterday? And what's with the teddy? I did a little research on the Robertson house fire after you left. The girl's name is Katie, and her last photo showed her with a teddy, just like this one. So what? There's lots of teddies like that one. I think that's why she ran back into the burning house. You mean to get her teddy? Ah, then you believe it's a ghost. Stop it, Leonard. I'm just trying to eliminate irrelevancies. Supposedly, spirits of the dead who hang around are confused or looking for something. Let's give her back her teddy and see what happens. I knew it was a ghost. Oh, stop it, Leonard. Now all we do is wait. I gotta go, Davis. It's getting late and my mom's already gonna kill me. I don't understand it. Where is she? Come on, we can come back tomorrow and check if the teddy's still here. Aw, oh, rats. Forgot all about my math homework. You always forget about your math homework. scary. No. Hello? 